Hello, I'm Megan, and this is my first YouTube video. It's hard not to stare directly into the screen right now because that's all I want to do. It's so today I have a haul. Uh, I just picked up a few things from Amazon and ColourPop. And um, I have a few things from Target and a local boutique here where I live, dress up. So let's just get started. Um, but I did pick up the Perception palette from Shayla X Color Pop. I don't know, I just, I but I saw this palette and I loved, I thought the colors were beautiful. I thought they would be really fun. Um, I typically go for pretty safe looks. I'm not a crazy eyeshadow kind of person. But the green, I would say the IE shade in here, this guy, really spoke to me. Um, I think that's going to be a really pretty one to, to kind of get creative with. And it's it's going to go, I mean, all of these colors are going to go really well together. You can got like a couple different looks here for sure. Um, I'm definitely going to be watching some more tutorials on it. It's nothing new. It's been out, but I love it and I can't wait to try it. I picked up the Ultra Glossy Lip in fairy floss i've heard this mentioned by many other youtubers just a good staple sheer um gloss and i'm wearing it on my lips right now so i don't have a lot of lip going on so anything that gives me a little bit more uh, of an illusion of a bigger of a plumper lip is is definitely what i'm what i'm all about so literally just a nice sheer kind of pink um fairy floss i'm excited about it it's probably gonna be in my purse all the time so there you go simple easy i think i'm really gonna love it um and then i didn't really pick up anything else a lot of stuff was sold out um from the kathleen lights x color pop zodiac her zodiac collection um i did pick up the what's your sign lipstick cream lipstick Lux Lip is what ColourPop calls it. The What's Your Sign Lux Lip Cream. It's just this really pretty nude color. That's all from ColourPop. Let's move on. I've got a couple Amazon things. I watched um, Casey Holmes' haul, Amazon haul a little while ago. And I picked up a few things that she recommended because the girl Girl knows what she's talking about. She recommended this hip circle, um, and I've got where is he? Slingshot Grippy Hip Circle by that's by Mark Mark Bell. But I will link it below. This thing is going to be intense, um, very intense. And here is a picture of the guy using it here on the screen. Um, she also recommended this laundry bag, which whenever I travel and I go to a hotel in the, in the closet, they always have, or mostly, or usually have a laundry bag and it's for the hotel. Um, and I always snag it because I usually work out while I'm there or if I'm traveling for a couple days. I need somewhere to put my dirty clothes. I don't want to just mix them up with my clean clothes. So Casey recommended this laundry bag and I'm going to pull it up here so I can tell you what it's called. The Miyamika, Miyamika laundry bag. So this is it. And just unzip, I guess it's got a little carrying case. That's cute. Watch me get it stuck. Oh, it's its own thing. It's a carrying case. It's like a, one of those jackets like folds up in it, so. It's big. It's big. Okay. Oh, wait. No, okay. So, <laughs> you've got your opening here. And literally drawstrings, which is perfect. You just keep your laundry in it. And that's going to be great because I'm always using one of those bags. Sometimes they break. I've got a lot of laundry. Um, or sometimes I'll be on work trips and we're sharing a room with somebody and they want the laundry bag. Um, so it's just like, now I have my own. I can probably wash this. I'll have to check and see what the 
um, directions are on that, but that is going to be, I'm like probably most excited about this of everything that I have. Um, just because it's going to be so versatile and it's so like packable, something you can just kind of take with you. Let's see if I can fold it up. Pack it in itself. See, literally, I just folded it up into itself. You're my new best friend. Um, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I think that was everything from her that I have picked up. Uh, Allie Glines, I think that's how you say her name, Glines. She has been using a fan every time she does her makeup in her videos to dry her face after her setting spray. She got the idea from Kathleen Lights, I believe. I don't know where Kathleen got the idea or if she just came up with it. That girl is awesome. Oh my gosh, there's so many parts. Um, so I picked up the a mini handheld fan. I'll link it below. You get a little charging cord, or maybe it's charging, is it a charging cord? Um, I thought it was battery operated. Or something. So literally after you are done using your makeup, yeah, there are batteries. Okay, oh no, no, no. Okay, so you open it up. I guess you charge this back. Okay, you charge this battery with the cord. I probably could read directions, but you know, you guys, this is amazing. This is gonna be awesome. I'm very excited about it. So you spray your you spray your face with. Um, well, okay. There are speeds. Um, Um, so you spray your face with your setting spray and instead of having little water droplets all over your face Sometimes I use my sponge sometimes I'll use a brush with a little bit of powder on it and just kind of tap in those places I don't want it to be too shiny um, Or you just take this fan and you don't have to worry about little splotchy water splotches all over your face and it's collapsible Somehow so it just looks like this You've got charging cord for the battery inside And you just like boop and it folds up into itself, super easy for travel. Definitely, as you can tell, I'm all about the travel stuff. So, travel friendly. Um, you also have a little stand here. I don't know how this works, but I'm sure we will figure it out. Um, you should hand spray if you want to hand fan yourself. I'm just, this is like a YouTuber's recommendation haul, I feel like. Cause now I have Whitney Simmons. She is just the sweetest, cutest, Bubbly little thing, I love it. Um, I love her workouts, I follow her. I get frustrated when she doesn't post quickly enough because I'm like, what am I gonna do today? She hasn't posted anything. On her, Am she has an Amazon list that you can view, which is really cool. Um, she has these sliders. So the sliders are for the gym. Um, so it improves your range of motion in joints, targets, imp targets individual muscle groups, double-sided to use on hard floors and carpeted floors, lower body, Low body impact, impact exercises. Um, so it's made by Synergy. And I just picked these up on Amazon too. These were on her list. And so I'm gonna try them out. My gym, I go to Planet Fitness and they've kind of have like a rubberized floor. So I'm a little nervous. I think obviously the, maybe the shiny side is gonna work best. Moving on, moving on. I picked up a, what do you call this? Digital ultrasonic jewelry and eyeglass cleaner. Why, Megan? Why did you pick up a jewelry cleaner? Well, you guys, I wear, if I get a piece of jewelry that I love, I wear it all the time. My niece gave me this necklace last Saturday. I haven't taken it off. I haven't taken it off. And they will start, I mean, I shower in it, I work out in it, I sleep in it, I wear it all day. It's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get dingy. I don't have, you know, even if it's like silver or something, it's gonna get tarnishy. Um, you know, stuff like this, I don't know if it's if it's just plated or what, so I don't want it to get all dingy looking and dirty looking, which has already happened to a lot of my necklaces. So, I follow Callie Dollar. Um, she does not have a YouTube, but she's on Instagram, and she is just kind of a lifestyle, um, influencer basically on Instagram and she lives here in Atlanta. She has this. She posted about it. She puts her jewelry in here and it cleans it really nicely. I also just got engaged so I have an engagement ring now to keep clean and although I can take it and get it cleaned 
I don't want to have to all the time. I don't want to go to that mall and get my ring clean and park and walk around and be around all those people. So I can clean it at home. So, okay. I might actually clean some stuff while we're sitting here and going through the rest of the stuff. All right. So Callie said that she uses literally just water and like some Dawn dish soap and that's what she uses to clean her rings. While my jewelry is being cleaned, hopefully it's being cleaned, maybe it's our second attempt. Um, I went to Target. I picked up some Pixie products. I picked up four things. The Pixie Skin Treatments Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oat. And Black Oat, that's just at the end of it. It's, wow. This stuff, I can just spray it all over my face all day. It feels very, very good. It's very hydrating. I got out of the shower, I spray it on, then I put on, I usually wipe it around my face, spray it around. Um, and then I go in with my moisturizer. And it is just so refreshing. I don't know if it does anything, but I love it. And I will probably keep buying it. So the other thing I picked up with that is the H2O Skin Tint Tinted Face Gel. Um, cooling and hydrating sheer tinted water-based gel. Apply as you would a moisturizer and pat into skin. This is 1.18 ounces. I picked this up in the shade Warm because I am pretty tan right now. Um, there were four shades, I believe. So there was one just deeper than this. Um, this is all I've been wearing. I live in Georgia. I live in the South. It gets very humid. Uh, I walk outside and I'm like, why did I even shower and put on makeup today? My hair instantly goes up. Heavy makeup in the summer is just not something I love to do. I see girls wearing it. I see girls wearing it at the gym. I don't wear makeup at the gym. I don't wear makeup every day of the week. I love makeup. I have a slight issue. I want something to enhance what I have, but also show off my skin's natural radiance. Um, this is awesome. I, it's awesome. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's light on the skin. You can still see freckles. You can still see, you know, your lines and stuff like that, but it does give your face just a softer, almost a little airbrushed look to it. I literally just, this moisturizer, I've even mixed this in with my moisturizer. Um, that was nice. I still am kind of frustrated with how to put it on. I rub it in with my fingers. It feels uh, kind of like a lot though when I put it on. Um, I've tried my beauty blend or my beauty sponge. I just tried like um, one of these brushes here. So a little softer, a little denser. Um, my next um, attempt is going to be with a regular brush just to see kind of buffing it in, see if that helps. Okay, so my camera overheated. Um, the Sonic, Magnasonic thing is going for the third time on a couple other necklaces. Um, I also got a knot in one of them, so that's really great. Um, but it does, it is working. I ran this one, this is a Kendra Scott uh, necklace that I was given for my birthday a few years ago and like I said earlier I wore it constantly um, and so it got nice and tarnishy and I have heard that you can take them back my sister-in-law was actually adamant that I take this back she's the one that gave it to me um, and they will exchange it for you and give you a whole nother one which I think that's crazy like how do you even make money um, I'm just making this worse. So I did get a knot in that one. So I don't love that really for necklaces, but it is doing a really good job. And it's something I guess if you put like one necklace in there at a time, maybe it will work better. Um, okay, getting back to a pixie stuff. So, so age two skin skin tint. I really do love this. I see myself using this the rest of the summer. Um, I see myself buying it in lighter shades when I lose my tan. It's I, I really enjoy this because it really does just enhance the features you already have, which is great. Glowy Glossomere Duo in Subtle Sunrise. So, highlighter duo. As you can see, I have already dipped my finger and brush into it. They definitely lived up to what I thought they would be. Um, everybody who I have watched and, and has used them 
has really, they look, just looked beautiful on. Um, I don't think each of them have a name. I think it's just um, packaging. So we'll just do a little swatchy swatch here. Which lets them kind of rubbed in. Really pretty. Got a little bit of light left today. Don't have lights and stuff like that. I'm not a professional. Um, and then last but not least with the Fixie stuff, I picked up the making makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea makeup setting mist from shake to mix blah 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 blah, blah. close your eyes <laughs> don't spray this in your eyes I really like this the um, sprays on both of these they are just this nice like this this one kind of sprayed me in the face a little bit but they are the same so I don't know maybe I was just kind of going a little too close to my face but it's just kind of this like nice Yeah, that would, oh. Where's my face? God dang. So I don't know, this one is just kind of a little bit more aggressive. And this one, I'm just wasting it here at this point. Oh, it's just a little bit more, a finer mist, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think I like I like the, they both smell great too. The rose water definitely smells very very good. I love rose. This doesn't really have much of a spell spell smell, but it is a little bit more spa like and just kind of feels very refreshing when you first put it on. So I really think I enjoy the milky mist a little bit more than the fixing mist. But we went over the highlighters. We went over all the pixie stuff. Um, I've got a few more Target things. I picked up these. Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar earrings. Now, I tried to go on to Uncommon James and buy these. They were sold out in every color. Silver, rose gold, gold, sold out. Then I see on their Instagram, somebody say, Target has the same ones. I'm like, oh, let me go look. My Target sold out. The next closest Target sold out. Every Target in like a 20 mile radius, 30 mile radius is sold out. These are the ones that I bought that are comparable to Girlboss, I believe. Um, saw Casey Holmes wearing them. Boss Girl? Girlboss. There they are. There's, well, there's a decent picture of her wearing them. So. They're basically just like this square shape and they are open on the back. Last two things, let's get through this before the camera overheats again. Um, we have a boutique here in Georgia called Dress Up. Actually, they're not only in Georgia, I believe they're in South Carolina as well. But there's one um, within 10 minutes of my house. I bought this top in white already so I knew I really liked it. I went and returned a dress it was too big um and I bought this top it's got these like ruffles on the sleeves it's super cute it was a newberry top and it is $26.99 it is just a fun little thin you can see how thin the fabric is um just cute dress it up dress it down fun sleeve top um, it's a little bit more square. It's not super long, but it's kind of drapey. I really like my white one, so I thought I would get it in black as well. Um, and then, I don't really have anything like this, but they always look super cute on people, and I was like, F it. So it is this kind of tan, neutral fabric. It's short sleeve. Actually, don't judge. I'm wearing running shorts and just a crop top from The Gap right now, so my sleeves are gonna show. Super cute. So yeah, that was, I will link the name of it below because I usually have the names um, on the tags. It was $32.99, so not bad. I think my dress was like 40 something, so I ended up only paying like $24 for this whole thing. That's all my stuff, that's all I got. That's everything.
That's a lot of stuff. I'm not really even sure how long this video is. I think it's a little too long, probably. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching, checking out my first video. Thank you so much for watching, wherever you are.